We spend our whole lives trying to fit in. We want to be normal. But the people we idolize the most are the ones that stand out. If you want to be great, you want to be the baddest motherfucker ever at what you do, you're going to be misunderstood by everybody. Because you're going to be so fucking obsessed and so driven to get there. That's what it takes. When you are misunderstood to the point where people think you're psycho and you're nuts and you're this and that, why are you in the fucking gym at one o'clock in the fucking morning? What's wrong? When people don't understand you anymore, you're in that spot of obsession and drive. To be the best at what you do, you have to be unbalanced to find every bit of fucking energy and strength that you have to pull it off. And it takes being obsessed to where people think you're crazy. If you really want this, you got to learn to sacrifice. You got to learn to give up to go up. While they was golfing, I was studying. While they were shooting hoops, I was studying. While they was playing games and sitting up and eating and joking in the restaurant, I was studying. You can't get out of something, something that you're not willing to put into it. You have to put your everything, your everything, your mind, your energy, your effort, your discipline. Nothing is going to jump out the fire. If you don't throw something in there, it's not going to happen. But if you dare to be great, if you dare to go to limits that you've never went to before, they will remember your legacy forever. You know what you got to do to get to paradise? You got to fight like fucking hell to get to fucking paradise. Paradise starts in hell. It's the ones that can fight, the ones that come back. Those are the ones that succeed. If there's something you once envisioned and now it's real, it's because you didn't just envision it. You brought so much emotion to it that you unleashed all your desire. You became obsessed with it. You started with a concrete vision of what you wanted and you focused on it continuously, didn't you? Wherever focus goes, energy flows. You have to be obsessive. You have to be addicted. You have to be disciplined. If you want to show me you want to win that bad, pack your calendar. You pack your calendar, that's how you show the world that you want to win because everything is based off of activity. It's mathematically impossible for you not to win at the highest level if your calendar is packed from day till night, every single day, the entire year, day after day after day after day after day without you winning. You got to work smarter and you got to work f***ing harder. You got to f***ing do both. Those times when you get up early and you work hard, those times when you stay up late and you work hard, those times when you don't feel like working, you're too tired, you don't want to push yourself, but you do it anyway. That is actually the dream. Greatness is not something that you meet once. It's something that you meet thousands of f***ing times in your life and you don't reach it if you're not constantly in constant f***ing pursuit of greatness. And when you do this long enough, winning becomes not something that you aspire to do. Winning becomes who the f*** you are.